Today is Wednesday, October the 17th, 2012. I'm going to make a video here just a little bit different from some of my other ones. But uh, I've been experimenting. I have a, uh, <clears throat> this is part of a, a telescope mount. And in, it got damaged. See how that's been broken off? Well, it's broken completely off. And I've got it, I've tried gluing it on and it didn't hold. And uh, I've got a little bit of glue in there right now. It's been drying overnight just to hold it in place. Well, what I've uh, learned, and it's kind of odd, you might think I have it sitting there on a, on a camp stove, but I bought some aluminum rods, and I've been experimenting with these things. These are uh, aluminum uh, soldering rods called um, Aluma Weld, if I don't focus. And anyway, it looks like, it looks really promising, and I'm going to show you. It looks like it you just it basically solders. I'm going to uh, heat this thing up. I'm going to control the temperature of the uh, of the plate itself. As a matter of fact, the directions in the, this little package here says that you should heat the whole thing up. And they're the one that, that suggested the camp stove. Yeah, here's the rods right here, and uh, I'll measure the the temperature of it. I'm going to get the whole plate up. In, in experimenting I, I did heat plates up on this and uh, it seems to make it flow pretty good so if soldering aluminum has, has uh, is this easy, wow this is great because this is just old potted aluminum and uh, I don't know the video, video may turn out to be a disaster but we'll see. All right, the, uh, using a, a regular torch and uh, yep, gas so uh, let it heat up I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get this guy up to about 500 degrees I'm gonna turn that down slightly so I don't, I don't want to burn all the paint off of it if I can help it maybe something low like that and uh, I'll be back in a minute Let's see she's up to 200 degrees now a little hotter. Okay, it's up to, uh, it says 357 there and in the middle. 370 is starting to smoke a little bit. I can smell it, so I'm going to see if it'll solder. Now I've got the, so I don't have to try to heat the whole thing up. Let's see what happens. I sure hope this is, is successful.
turn that fire off. Oh, whoa, 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 I'll take my god, it's looking pretty good. Now you can't see this other edge over here, but I can't get another one. I realize there's a soldering but I've never tried to solder with uh, aluminum let's look at that and the camera's not going to focus there we go yeah let this thing cool for about two hours and I don't know wash it up we'll see how it looks it looks really promising huh okay it's cooled now <clears throat> after I turned the camera off I actually set it at different angles and added some more to it but see, it looks like it flowed in there pretty darn good. I got a blob there. That looks like that flowed pretty well. Maybe a little blobby. But, uh, and this stuff is very hard. That little point right there is really hard and sharp. Not like, it's not like lead. So uh, it may have worked. And uh, it's got some nice, bright, shiny, clean uh, aluminum there, huh? But being able to solder cast aluminum is uh, really a darn good idea. I'll uh, clean it up one more time, paint it, and we'll see how the final outcome is. Okay, there it is all brushed up. It's pretty good. Excuse me. I'm going to paint it now. Basically soldering uh, cast aluminum. I'm really impressed. Okay, it's all done. I've uh, put a little black paint on that. It's a little shinier than the rest, but I'm not disturbed by that, and I, th I think it's actually fixed. I had to uh, I had to run a, a tap through a quarter 20 tap because uh, the screws, it didn't seem to hurt the metal and all the rest of them, but that one, it did, uh, I guess it was swollen slightly inside, but soldering with aluminum solder potted aluminum hallelujah well if you ever uh, have to solder with uh, some, some aluminum stuff I hope this helps you see here it is assembled seems like that's going to work there you go well, that's the, uh, the mount that it was uh, got damaged I tell you I don't know something pretty heavy must have fallen on it and uh, quickly here, here's the scope that'll be mounted on it, right there. So you can see it needs a a little bit of uh, the 10 inch uh, made, uh, what they call it, uh, LX200 GPS. So I'm planning on having fun with it. 